The year 2025 has brought unsettling news to many coastal communities. Sharks, magnificent and ancient predators, are appearing closer to our shores. This is not an isolated incident. It is a pattern observed globally. Holidaymakers and local residents alike report more frequent sightings. These encounters often occur in areas previously considered safe for swimming. The familiar boundary between human recreation and wild marine territories seems to be blurring. This change prompts urgent questions about ocean health and our activities. News outlets are filled with images of fins slicing through shallow waters. Social media buzzes with personal accounts and drone footage. For many, the ocean, once a source of joy, now holds a new anxiety. Understanding this phenomenon is crucial for both human safety and shark conservation. Scientists point towards significant environmental shifts occurring in our oceans. Human impact on the planet is a major contributing factor. Sharks are highly sensitive to these disturbances in their environment. Their behavior is a clear indicator of broader oceanic transformations. The goal is to foster a deeper understanding of this evolving situation in 2025. Reports of increased shark presence near shores are not confined to one region. They echo across the globe, from Australia's famous surf beaches to the U.S. East Coast. Even the historically calmer waters of the Mediterranean are seeing more activity. In South Africa, shark spotters are working harder than ever before. Each location tells a similar story. More sharks are being seen in places they were once rare. This consistency suggests common underlying causes at play. Data from various sources support these anecdotal accounts. Scientific tagging programs reveal sharks spending more time in coastal zones. Drone surveillance by beach patrols captures more frequent images of sharks near swimmers. Fishermen report catching species closer to land than in previous decades. This growing body of evidence cannot be ignored by authorities. The patterns are too widespread to be dismissed as random occurrences. Different species of sharks appear to be involved in this shift. Great whites are being tracked nearer to popular Californian beaches. Bull sharks, known for their tolerance of fresher water, are exploring further up estuaries. Understanding these drivers is the first step towards managing this new reality. One of the most significant global environmental changes is ocean warming. Our planet's seas have absorbed a vast amount of excess heat. This heat comes from increased greenhouse gas emissions. This warming is not uniform. Some coastal waters are heating up faster than deeper ocean areas. Marine life is incredibly sensitive to temperature fluctuations. Even small changes in water temperature can dramatically alter ecosystems. Fish populations, the primary food source for many sharks, are particularly affected. Many species of smaller fish have specific temperature preferences. As their traditional waters warm, they migrate towards cooler areas. Often this means moving poleward or into different depths. Sometimes it means moving closer to shore if conditions there become more favorable. Sharks are opportunistic hunters. They will inevitably follow their food source to new locations. Consequently, as fish species seek out newly suitable temperatures, sharks trail them. If schools of fish move into shallower coastal waters, sharks are likely to follow. This is a natural predatory response. Sharks are not intentionally seeking out human areas. They are driven by the fundamental need to find food. The link between rising ocean temperatures and shark proximity to shores is becoming clearer. Beyond the influence of warming waters, overfishing presents another major challenge. Decades of intensive fishing have severely depleted many global fish stocks. Large commercial operations often target the same species that sharks rely on for food. This occurs particularly in deeper offshore waters. These are the traditional hunting grounds for many larger shark species. When their primary food sources dwindle, sharks face a critical problem. They must find alternative sources of sustenance to survive. This scarcity of prey in their usual habitats forces sharks to adapt. They become less selective and more opportunistic in their feeding habits. Coastal waters can, in some instances, offer a more readily available food supply. 
This is especially true if nearshore fish populations are less impacted by large-scale commercial fishing. The desperation of hunger can drive sharks into unfamiliar territories. This includes areas closer to human activity. The impact of overfishing is not just about reducing the quantity of prey. It also disrupts the natural balance of marine food webs. Sharks, as apex predators, play a crucial role in maintaining this balance. Managing fish stocks responsibly is not just about the fishing industry. Many shark species undertake remarkable long-distance migrations. These journeys are essential for feeding, breeding, and finding suitable water temperatures. Sharks navigate these vast distances using a sophisticated array of senses. They rely on the Earth's magnetic fields. They also use ocean currents and subtle temperature gradients as cues. These natural signposts guide them across thousands of miles of open ocean. However, the environmental changes we are witnessing can interfere with these navigational tools. Fluctuations in ocean temperatures can alter the clear thermal pathways sharks follow. Changes in current patterns, also linked to climate change, can lead them astray. Some research even suggests that human-generated electromagnetic noise could potentially confuse their magnetic sense. When these traditional cues become unreliable or shift, sharks can become disoriented. Their established migration routes may be disrupted. This disruption can lead sharks to wander into areas they would not normally frequent. This includes shallower coastal waters and even estuaries. Understanding these migratory disruptions is key to predicting shark movements. Human activities along coastlines have dramatically increased over recent decades. More people are living, working and holidaying by the sea. This increased coastal development and activity can inadvertently attract sharks. Fishing piers, for example, are popular spots for recreational anglers. The bait used and the fish caught and cleaned can release scents into the water. These scents can act as powerful attractants for sharks. They signal a potential easy food source nearby. Marinas and harbours also concentrate boating and fishing activity. Fish cleaning stations at these locations can create significant scent plumes. These plumes can travel long distances with the currents. Sharks, with their incredibly acute sense of smell, can detect these signals from far away. Similarly, some forms of aquaculture or fish processing plants near the coast might discharge organic matter. This too can draw in hungry predators looking for an opportunity. These human-created olfactory corridors can guide sharks landward. Wastewater outfalls and storm drains can also play a role in attracting marine life. While regulations aim to minimize pollution, some discharge can contain organic material. This material can attract smaller fish and crustaceans. Where smaller prey congregates, larger predators like sharks may follow. It is crucial to maintain perspective when discussing sharks near shores. Shark attacks on humans remain exceptionally rare events globally. Millions of people swim, surf, and enjoy coastal waters safely every single day. Sharks are not inherently malicious creatures actively hunting humans. Most encounters, even close ones, result in no harm. The image of the man-eater shark is largely a product of fiction. It does not reflect the reality of shark behavior. However, an increase in the proximity of sharks to areas of human recreation does change the equation slightly. Even if the individual risk remains low, more frequent encounters statistically increase the chance of an incident. If sharks and humans share the same space more often, interactions become more probable. This does not mean attacks will become common, but it does mean the potential for accidental encounters rises. Most incidents involving sharks and humans are believed to be cases of mistaken identity. A surfer on a board, or a swimmer's kicking feet, can resemble a seal or a large fish from below. Sharks may make an exploratory bite to investigate an unfamiliar object. Once they realize it is not their usual prey, they typically retreat. This highlights the need for caution in areas with known shark activity. As sharks venture closer to shores, proactive management strategies become essential. The goal is not to eliminate sharks, 
but to foster safe coexistence. A multifaceted approach, combining technology, research and education, is proving most effective. Scientists are at the forefront of these efforts. They are working tirelessly to understand shark behavior. Their research informs the strategies used to keep both humans and sharks safe. This collaboration is vital for long-term solutions. Advanced tagging technology provides unprecedented insights into shark movements. Satellite tags allow researchers to track sharks over vast distances. Acoustic tags ping receivers when sharks pass near specific coastal points. This data helps identify patterns, seasonal hotspots, and individual shark behavior. This information can then be used for targeted public safety announcements. It can also inform decisions about temporary beach closures if necessary. Knowing where sharks are and where they might be going is powerful. Emerging technologies like artificial intelligence or AI are also being integrated. AI algorithms can analyze drone footage in real time. They can identify sharks with greater accuracy and speed than the human eye. This provides an early warning system for lifeguards and beach authorities. The increasing presence of sharks closer to our shores in 2025 is a clear signal. It tells us that the marine environment is undergoing profound changes. These changes are largely driven by human activities. Climate change is warming the oceans. Overfishing is depleting food sources. Coastal development is altering local habitats. Sharks are responding to these pressures in predictable ways. They are adapting to a world that we have reshaped. This situation underscores the deep interconnectedness of all life on Earth. Our actions on land and at sea have far-reaching consequences. These consequences extend to the behavior of apex predators like sharks. We cannot view ourselves as separate from the ocean's ecosystem. We are an integral part of it and our impact is significant. Recognizing this responsibility is the first step towards finding sustainable solutions. We must consider the health of the ocean in all our decisions. The challenge ahead involves both adaptation and mitigation. We need to adapt to the reality of more frequent encounters in some areas. This means investing in research, monitoring and public safety measures.